You are not barren. You are fruitful. You are not barren. You are fruitful. You are not barren, but you are fruitful. Why is it difficult for you to get it right? You know why it's difficult? Because most of us don't study the word of God. Our mind, mind is cluttered with negativity of that negative thought or report or what people say about us or about how we feel. It doesn't matter the negative thought or report. You are not barren. I choose to believe the word of God. I don't know what you choose to believe. The report of the word of God says in the book of Exodus 23, 26, No shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in the land. I choose to believe the word of God. I choose to believe the word of God. When you go to the word of God, you will see many women, God bless their womb, even when all hope was lost, those that entered monopause, those that was already old, they were not even menstruating. Their husband old, because they hold on to God's word. Because they hate on to God's word. Abraham against everything he held on to God's word. Because he knows that he that promise is able to bring it to pass. The problem is this. We are using God as better. We don't use him as our savior. Yes. We only come to God for miracle. If we have God as your savior, as a miracle worker, and as your father, you will know that you need to trust in God's word. But the problem, no. We only come to God for miracle only. That is why we don't know who we are in Christ Jesus. That is why we don't study the word of God. That is why the devil will manipulate and manipulate our mindset. That is why we believe what the doctors say. That is why we believe what people say concerning us rather than believing what the Bible said and what God said concerning us. Why? We don't know our right in Christ Jesus. We don't study the word of God. We prefer to jump from pillar to post, from ministry to ministry. We prefer to jump from anywhere there are prophecies. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. And we fail to study the word of God, to know our right in Christ Jesus. That's why the Bible said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. You are not barren. Get that negativity or barrenness out of your head. I join my faith with you, I declare. Let every obstruction to your to your giving birth, give way. Every altar of barrenness and miscarriage, say, I put a stop to it in the name of Jesus. I pray that this season, your womb shall conceive. You will bear your own children. You will carry to full time. I declare no more barrenness and miscarriages in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Congratulations to you. You are not barren.